What's up guys, this episode I wanna dive into the Rails 5.2 new feature called Current Attributes. Now it's a bit of a double-edged sword. For one, it's really nice to be able to access things like your current user inside your models now using this in Rails 5.2. However, this gets reset every request in Rails and it creates thread local global variables, which means that this has to get reset every request. Otherwise, you might have the wrong user in your current variable and that would be bad. And things like your background jobs are gonna have to be very cautious about using this. And I would probably encourage you not to use this in background jobs so you don't ever access the wrong user or the wrong attributes in your current class. So this can be good and it can be bad and that's why I wanted to talk about this advanced example in this episode because everybody's talking about it's either terrible or here's how to use it in, in trivial ways. But we're going to dive into this kind of in depth to see why it's useful by building a cool rack middleware to replicate Basecamp 3's URLs. So before we dive into that, I want to just give you a quick rundown of how this works and how to use current attributes in your Rails application, and then we'll go build out this really cool feature of Basecamp 3. So let's dive in. So current is going to be a new class you will add to your app models folder. You'll just call it current.rb, and you'll create a class here called current that inherits from active support current attributes, and you will just define your attributes here um, and you can say attribute user. And once you've defined your attributes like this, you'll be able to set them anywhere in your application um, by doing something like this, current.user equals at user. So in your registration, in your login, you can have that assign the current user. And then you can do other things like set your account or your request IP address or your user agent, which you might want to use in various parts of your application.